Hello, good morning everyone. Have a good day and we are now in our module 6. It's all about division of fractions and division of mixed fractions or mixed numbers, okay? And at the same time, solving prob uh, problem solving of fractions involving division, okay? So I have here an example. Makinig ng mabuti. Paano natin sagutin ang division of fractions, okay? So I have here 12 over 24 divided by 1 half. Dalawang bagay ang dapat nating tandaan in solving division of fractions. Unang-una, itong division sign dito sa gitna, papalitan natin ng multiplication sign. Okay? So, hindi na natin magagamit si division. And then, pangalawa, itong fraction dito sa kaliwa or sa kanan mo, nakaharap kayo sa akin, okay, yung fraction dito sa, sa kanan, Gagawin nating reciprocal. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng reciprocal? Babalik ta rin natin. So let's say for example, 1 half. Paano balik ta rin si 1 half? A reciprocal of 1 half is 2 sa taas, 1 sa baba. That is what we mean by reciprocal. Okay? Of the fraction. Okay? Let's try to answer. Now, makinig ng mabuti. We have here 12 over 24 divided by 1 half. Sabi ko... Papalitan natin si division ng multiplication. So, 12, makikita ba? Over 24 times reciprocal of 1 half. Okay? 2 over 1. Okay? Nakuha? So, then you proceed to multiplication. Kasi multiplication naman ang naadin na sa tunga. Ayan ang operation sign. So, ayun na pag-divide. Mag-multiply ka na. Intindihan ba? Now, multiply numerator by the numerator. 24, ah, uh, denominator by the denominator. Okay? So, you start multiplying now. You have 12 times 2 equals 24. Okay? 24 times 1 equals 24. Now, notice... Si numerator at saka si denominator ay pareho. So, this is what we call a fraction equivalent to 1. Then, we will divide the fraction by the numerator the numerator by the denominator. Okay? So, we have here 24 divided by 24. The answer is 1. So, your answer is whole number 1. Nagets nyo? Okay, let's try another method. We will use cancellation. Okay? Cancellation... Uh, para ka nag-cross multiply, ikakancel mo yung uh, numerator dyan sa kanan at saka denominator sa kaliwa. Numerator sa kaliwa, denominator sa kanan. That is how to use cancellation, no? Para kang nag-cross multiply, okay? Pero susubukan natin using cross um, a cancellation method, okay? So, we have here 12 over 24. Divided by 1 half equals, ganun pa rin ang paraan ha, palitan si division, gawing reciprocal yung next fraction, okay? So, 12 over 24 times reciprocal yung 1 half, 2 over 1, okay? So, cancellation. Sa tingin mo, pag tingin mo dyan, makikita yung dalawang number na magkapareho sila ng factors, so, ibig sabihin, gagamitin mo yon, Okay? Para liliit silang dalawa. Pag tingin mo dyan na hindi magkapariha, wala silang kaparihang factor, wag mo nang gawin yun kasi magkamali ka na ng sagot. Okay? So, let's cancel 2 and 24. We will make use 2 to reduce this number. Okay? So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Okay? Oh, sige, dito muna natin isulat. Equals 1. Okay? 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Correct. Okay. Now, napaliit mo na si 2 at saka si 24. So, ang gagawin mo, multiply the numerator and the numerator, multiply the denominator and the denominator. So, you have here 12 times 1 equals 12. 12 times 1, 12 pa rin. Now, Fraction equal to 1. Ayun na siya, Glingini. You have to reduce that into a whole number kasi fraction equal to 1 man siya. 
So, you divide numerator by the denominator. So, 12 divided by 12, the answer is whole number 1. So, nagets ninyo, pariho lang silang dalawa, di ba? Ito, pinaliit natin, ginamitan natin ng cancellation method, ito wala. Pero, yun pa rin ang sagot, pariho lang. Naintindihan nyo ba? Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so we have another uh, fraction. We have division of fraction with a whole number. Okay, so meron dito sa activity ninyo. Now, tingnan ninyo, tingnan nyo mabuti yung whole number, lalagyan natin yan siya ng automatic yan, denominator of 1. Okay, tandaan nyo lagi yan. So we have here 1 third divided by 2. Paano natin gawin? Again, yung dalawang bagay, huwag kalimutan. Division papalitan natin ng multiplication sign. And then, yung whole number, lalagyan natin ng denominator na 1. And then, reciprocal ulit. Okay? Alright. So, do not forget the two rules. Change the operation sign into multiplication. Then, change the fraction into reciprocal. Okay? Make use of the reciprocal, okay? So, it was, you have here one-third. Change division into multiplication times 2 over 1. Kasi automatic si 2. Denominator niya 1. Whole number man si 2. So, automatic ang denominator niya is 1. Okay? Take note, dili pa na siya mao ha? Hindi pa yan siya. Gagawan mo pa ng reciprocal yan, okay? So, equals, you have one-third times reciprocal that is 1 half babalik ta rin mo si 2 over 1 so that becomes 1 half okay na naintindihan na sabtan sana nakasunod ha then you multiply numerator both numerators and multiply both denominators so 1 times 1 you have 1 then 3 times 2 you have 6 okay so 1 6 is already a lowest term so that is now your answer so, uulitin ko, 1 third divided by 2, ang gagawin mo sa whole number, lalagyan mo siya ng denominator ng 1. That is, automatic na siya nga, na ay siya denominator ng 1. Okay? So, that becomes 1 third times 2 over 1. Okay? Then, ayun sa pag-answer direct, so, kayo mo pa na siyang reciprocal. Ha? So, 1 third times 1 half, si 2 over 1 nagiging 1 half, then multiply, multiply both numerators, multiply both denominators. So, 1 times 1, you have 1. 3 times 2, you have 2. And since 1 6 is already in a lowest term, so encircle your answer. Nasundan ba? Okay, last one. I have here another example. So, we have here 2 thirds divided by 3. Makinig ng mabuti. So, 2 thirds divided by 3, again, Papalitan mo to ng multiplication sign. Gagawin mo siyang uh, with a denominator of 1. And then, lalagyan mo siya or gagawin mo siya ulit ng reciprocal. Okay? So, we have here equals 2 thirds. Sulat mo si 2 third Si division, gawin mong multiplication times 3. Meron siyang denominator na 1. Okay? Then, Gawan mo siya ng reciprocal. Dilisan na siya may gamitan. Kasi pag nagbitso, pag multiply, mali na ka din ha. Okay? Huwag kalimutan. Ang pangalawang uh, gagawin mo is reciprocal. Okay? So, kopyahin mo 2 third times. Kabaliktaran ng 3 over 1 is 1 over 3. Equals. So, multiply ka na. 2 times 1 equals 2. 3 times 3 equals 9. Ngayon, titingnan mo yung sagot mo. 2 over 9. Okay? Si 2 ba at saka si 9? Pwede pa ba natin mapaliit yan? Si 9 ba makikita sa multiples of 2? Meron ba silang parihong factors? Pag wala na, edi wala na. So, ano ba ang factors ng 2? 1 and 2. Correct? Ano ba ang factors ng 9? 3 and 3. Tama? So, two and, 1 and 2 and 3 and 3, may pariho ba doon? 
So, wala ka na makitang pareho, di ba? Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na sila pwedeng mapaliit. Okay? Kasi maliit na siya. Ibig sabihin, lowest term na siya. So, kasi lowest term na siya, bibilugan mo na yan. So, therefore, 2 9, 2 9 is already a lowest term. Okay? So, 2 third divided by 3 equals 2 9 Okay? The process, how did you get 2 9 is this one. 2 third divided by 3 equals 2 third times. Okay? Palit yan. 3 over 1. And then sa 3 over 1, nagiging 1 third. 2 third times 1 third equals 2 9 Nag-gets nyo? Sana maintindihan at sana masundan ninyo. I hope you can answer your activity A and B. At sana uh, walang magkamali. Okay? Please share this video to your classmates and share this to others. And tell them if they have questions, so just send me a message. Okay? Mag-message lang sila kung meron silang hindi naintindihan. Alright? That's all for today. And thank you and God bless. Mabuhay ulit tayong lahat. Okay?